ladies how are you today hope you're doing great i'm doing great and uh, i've just decided to stop by and say hello to you and uh briefly speak about something so basically today i just want to talk about uh appre appreciating our husbands we understand that uh you know marriage is not an easy course or rather marriage is not an easy thing and uh, you know there are a lot of fallouts there are a lot of disagreement and agreements there are a lot of you know misunderstanding and understanding there are a lot of messing and forgiveness and uh, basically today just wanted to talk about appreciating our husbands we know and uh i know that you know that everybody's not perfect right and our husband tend to have their own imperfection and weaknesses and uh so more i wouldn't want to dig much into personality but into you know character but i would like to talk about a certain weakness you know and uh, i'll speak about african men we understand that african men most of the time they are not good in house chores or rather helping their wives at home and uh, we tend to complain because these people they can't do even simple things you know they expect you to do everything almost everything for them you know they don't even remember where they put their socks. They come in, they throw their socks wherever, when, which, you know, wherever they want. They, you know, they they ask, where is my socks? You know, you're like, you're the one who does, who, you know, who put on those socks. What do I have to do with your socks? They even ask, where's my boxer? <laughs> it's funny, you know, like my man. It's so funny that again today my babe just did something so sweet you know i'm just coming from work and uh most of the time i do come from work at four and from my workplace to home to my home it's around 30 minutes so this is how i balance myself from work i run to my home i have to drop my school bag my laptop bag and then i go pick the kids so most of the time when my house is untidy i usually run i usually actually what i do i usually because my school is upstairs like it has five storage so i go downstairs and wait for the time you know i i, I go downstairs around um, let's say three fifty and then i wait for the time four o'clock to arrive when I'm downstairs so that I can clock immediately, clock out immediately and hope the new year is bus and go home, get home. So when I get home, I tend to, because I have two kids and uh, my husband's school is quite far. So by the time he's home, it's usually eight, you know, and I'm supposed to pick my kids by five. So I usually have like 30 minutes to arrange myself. So once I get in the house, I have to put uh, uh my house in order i have to clean my sitting room i have to put on the clothes uh you know i have to do the dishes i have to make the bed and then once i'm done you know i'm juggling time and i have now to go around pick the kids you know i have two kids and i do pick them by myself when my husband is not around then once i pick the kids i have to come back and you know keep them busy and then prepare dinner because i usually want by the time my hubby is home the food is warm and you know ready so today i was coming home and i was just wondering how i'm going to clean the house i'm tired you know monday the, the way monday are i'm usually mondays are I usually you know i'm usually tired so i just came in and before coming in i was in a you know this mini verse and then uh my husband gave me a call and it was like what are you up to i just dropped I, I was from the market because i you know i wanted to pick something that you're going to have today for dinner so i went and i picked eggs because i you know that is the easiest thing i can make uh this monday you know bearing the you know i'm tired and all those stuff so he called me and it was like what is your plan today and i told him just getting home you know and uh preparing the house try to make uh to prepare some vegetable that uh, i had on the fridge for some time and then go pick the babies and then it's like yeah you know i'm you're always a strong woman you know superwoman and blah 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 i know you'll put this together you know you'll put this together you'll pull it together and then i came in I opened my door, boom, my house is clean, like literally my husband has cleaned it, you know, the other time he does clean, 
the house but it's not the way i want you know the way i expected so today the house is super clean i can't show you my house i'll go to show you to a house some other time but the house was everything neat on point you know the sink is clean and the plates well arranged the bed is clean the clothes are put dirty clothes are on laundry basket and it was just sweet it was that is the sweetest thing that i've ever you know you know you know seen or felt for all those years that we have been married and uh, expecting that from a man that you know like this rigid african luhia man but today i'm super proud of my man and uh men out there please try to do this once in a while you know it doesn't hurt or it does it, 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 it does not make you less a man you know sometimes it's good to chip in help your wives you know wherever you can just touch something do something you know by the fact of you even coming home putting your socks you know on the laundry basket that is something by the fact uh, that you're going out and you we have dirty we have, the bin is full yeah you know unloading the bin and going throwing you know the bin it's so important it's sweet or rather it touches us you know we don't expect you to do much we don't expect you to iron to clean to do laundry for us no we're expecting you to do those small small things they're super romantic and super nice and we feel loved so today I just felt love and uh, you know i thank god you know so that is what i wanted to share with you today and men out there try to make your wife special you know you don't need to do something big you know doesn't have to be something you know out of the world just the tiny things you know it moves us and to you strong women out there remember that you're loved you're strong and continue doing you bye i love you